FIB's Inside Guide to the Treasures of Japanese Cinema Part 1. Japanese cinema is among the richest in the world. A list of the best Japanese movies could stand alongside a list of the greatest films from any country. Over the years, Japan has produced a handful of filmmakers who stand among the greatest directors of all time. Some of the best Japanese movies are quiet, independent films, brutal horror flicks and earnest, thoughtful melodramas. Here we present FIB's guide to the 10 best Japanese movies ever made. Ran. Director Akira Kurosawa, year 1985. While there is plenty of debate over what are the best Japanese movies, there is one name that always appears at the top of any list, Akira Kurosawa. Kurosawa is one of the most influential filmmakers of all time. His film, The Seven Samurai, was turned into an American Western called The Magnificent Seven. We got a seven. He's got an army. A loose adaption of Shakespeare's King Lear, Rand tells the story of a king accepting the twilight of his reign and the fact that he may die with his kingdom in turmoil. The themes of mortality and the ultimate insignificance of material wealth and status resonated in Shakespeare's time, meant something to Kurosawa in the 80s and are still relevant today. Battle Royale, director Kinji Fukasaku. Quentin Tarantino's all-time favourite film. Film buffs in the US and abroad helped make Battle Royale a cult classic shortly after its release in 2000. But the film received wider recognition in recent years when people realised that the plot of The Hunger Games was very similar. Battle Royale marked a career capstone for Fukusaku, a prolific talent in Japanese cinema who passed away in 2003. The film follows a class of ninth graders who, thanks to the government's Battle Royale Millennium Act, are forced to journey to an island and fight to the death. Not only is Battle Royale worth watching for its clear influence on so many films, Japanese and American alike, the movie holds up on its own merits. If you can stomach the grotesque, hyper-satirical premise, you will be rewarded with a cinematic achievement that is radically violent and oddly beautiful. Late Spring, director Yasujiro Ozu, year 1949. If Kurosawa is considered the greatest Japanese filmmaker of all time, then Ozu must be considered a close second. While tales of feudal Japan were Kurosawa's calling card, the stories of everyday people going about their lives in post-war Japan was Ozu's preferred mode. The absolutely prolific filmmaker is perhaps best known for his late period films, titled after times of year like An Autumn Afternoon, The End of Summer, Late Autumn, Early Summer, Early Spring, and our choice, Late Spring. Superficially, the plot of Late Spring is familiar. An aging widower decides that his daughter should be married before she becomes an old maid. We've seen this before in rom-coms and musicals, but Ozu sees this story as an indictment of the future. Why should this family do something they don't want to do? Spirited Away, director Hayao Miyazaki, year 2001. If there is another candidate for the greatest voice in the history of Japanese movies, it is Hayao Miyazaki. To get a sense of just how prolific Miyazaki has been throughout his career, you could call him the Japanese Walt Disney. While Disney generally worked with anthropomorphized animals or household objects, Miyazaki created one fantasy world after another in his many Studio Ghibli films, populating them with some of the most original and stunning images ever animated. We could attempt to describe the plot to you. There are shapeshifters that turn people into pigs and faceless creatures with insatiable appetites, but attempting to describe a Miyazaki film is such a poor substitute for the sumptuous visual beauty of his work that will stop at saying that his work is unlike anything you've ever seen and is essential viewing. The Twilight Samurai, director Yoji Yamada, year 2002. If you want to watch a more recent take on the samurai genre, The Twilight Samurai is a great choice. Though the film doesn't have the same military scope as some of the work by Kurosawa and Kobayashi, The Twilight Samurai is equally interested in the Bushido Code and the fate of the Ronin. 
Directed by Yoji Yamada, a veteran helmer with over 90 Japanese movies under his belt, The Twilight Samurai not only questions these codes, but it interrogates the samurai genre that Yamada has spent so much time working in. I'm <laughs> 